All right, so this is going to be an accuracy test of the uh, 80 grain TTS X load I have. I've been chronoing it, and on today, standard deviations around 50 feet per second, unfortunately. But that was with uh, Lake City 556 brass, so I'm using 223 brass here. I don't really have a setup where I can chrono and actually test at the same time, so we'll have to do that uh, coming up. But you're going to get a look at the uh, the target here. Obviously, because you're staring at it right now, it's a fresh target, real clean. Um, looks like we got some cloud cover rolling in, so we're going to try and get this done before we get rained on or something. But um, here we go. The barrel is cool from the velocity testing. Uh, I've got a pretty good rest here, and we'll get a pretty good idea of what it's doing. If it groups an inch and a half or better, um, that's perfectly fine for hunting and social purposes. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. All right, time to shut up and start shooting. We do have a little bit of a crosswind, but it's really not enough downrange to, to play havoc on this 80 degree bullet. So far, absolutely no reliability issues out of this loading. I pulled that last one a little bit to the right, but it looks like we're got a pretty good grouping going on. And uh, should be all right. So we're going to walk it now. The range is clear. Um, I'm the only one here right now, so perfect time to do a video and have a little bit of a walk and we'll keep this one kind of short. It's probably going to be the six minute, seven minute range, maybe a little bit more. So, take my ears off, I guess. Yelling at myself here. It looks pretty good to me. From what I could tell, that first shot was a center punch. So, that's, that's pretty freaking good. I did notice that there's one of the ballistic tips in the action, actually. Uh, it looks like it's sheared off. That's just kind of a little bit of a bugger. Let's see here. Yeah, that's all five. One, two, three, four, five. Cover it with my thumb. Uh, I think the gun is much more accurate than I am. And those squares are one inch, but to give you a reference, here's a large Bic lighter. You see the first three are within the head of that Bic lighter. And that's definitely a dead anything. This one I think was me. But there does seem to be a little bit of vertical stringing as that barrel was heating. But that's still pretty freaking good. So. From all the way back there, too. Pretty, uh, pretty freaking good. I think we'll do a second group 
and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, for right now, I think I'm just going to post this as a standalone video. And that 80 TTSX load, that 80 grain TTSX load, um, chronoing the, the three rounds with the, uh, the 556 brass, it's, um, it's going 3,000 to 3,050 feet per second, maybe just a touch over with one of them. So I think it's mostly the brass and also the fact that it is a slightly compressed load, which could be leading to the inconsistencies. I am also running an 18 inch barrel, so it's maybe not getting complete powder burn, but I am getting enough oomph at uh, 3,000 to 3,050, and we'll just call the load a 3,050 feet per second load. Um, we'll, we'll call it that, and I think you know we're delivering at least 1,640 to 1,653 foot pounds of energy between you know 3025 and 3050. So it's a good load. It's going to kill some deer this fall. All right, we'll catch you later guys. As always, God bless and keep your powder dry.